Shalom, everybody. Rabbi Edelstein here with this week's installment of Rabbi Ian 3, brought to you as always by Ma'or DC. Have a look at our Facebook page, Ma'or DC, or our national website, Ma'or.org, gives you a big picture view of all the wonderful things Ma'or does at on campuses throughout the U.S., including right here on the campus of GW. I'm the director of Ma'or DC, and I'm sitting in a rather empty nice and quiet, uh, GW building. There's still students coming in, incoming freshmen and many people. So I'm still here hanging out and sharing my thoughts with you today in Rabbi E in three. And it's a few thoughts, modest thoughts on really a very big topic and a difficult topic to discuss. This week's Torah portion is Chukas towards the end of the book of Bamidbar numbers and death features rather prominently in this portion. There were three great leaders, siblings, Moshe, Aaron, and Miriam, who led the Jewish people throughout the time in the desert. Great spiritual figures, each and every one of them, and two of the three pass away in this week's Torah portion, Miriam and Aaron. And the Torah gives a little bit of detail in describing the death of Aaron, and the Midrash, the oral tradition, expands on it. And he died very peacefully. It was a beautiful, um, calm passing from this world. He got to see his son, Elazar, be inaugurated into the high priesthood before he passed away. And it was such a, an elevated departure from this physical world that it's, the, the rabbis say that Moshe longed for a similar exit. And, and it makes us think, we all know, we who live in America or follow the news, that there have been several people in the last several weeks, talented celebrities and and um, leading figures in their fields, brilliant people who took their own lives. And instead of a peaceful end, something very jarring and disturbing and, and, and violent about their end. I'd, I'm not judging at all what those people, those individuals went through or any people who choose to end their own lives. I can't, I'm not here to judge and we all know that depression and, and anguish can lead a person to, to very extreme measures. But the Torah certainly teaches us that life is inherently meaningful and purposeful. And we were sent here, each and every one of us, with a unique and specific spiritual mission to accomplish. And really, we're supposed to be here as long as we can, as long as we're meant to be here in order to accomplish that goal. In the, in the largest terms, it would be bringing our own unique individual potential out to fruition, to actuality, to elevate ourselves, our fellow man, and all of creation. And that's what the death of a righteous person like Moshe, like Miriam or Aaron signals, that their time was now up, meaning they had achieved spiritually what they were meant to achieve in this world. They had completed their avoda, their service of character elevation, of doing mitzvot, of doing commandments. Again, I'm not judging at all. It's a tragedy when someone is, has such despair or pain and chooses to end their lives. And it's a wonderful thing, actually, out of these sad, tragic deaths that more discussion has come in the you know public arena and in private conversations about looking out for people with struggling with issues of depression. And so... I'm not saying uh, judging any other human being, but the Torah teaches us we're here to do a sacred avoda, a service of God, even when there are dark times in our lives. And maybe that's part of the, the ultimate meaning of our lives is to sh soldier through those dark times and try to do the service that's upon us. I wish all of us a good, happy life, a beautiful day, and a great Shabbos.